This is Catacetum piliatum, which is native to Venezuela. The name piliatum comes from the Latin word piliatus, which refers to this cap-like structure over the lip. And uh, it is a huge flower, being five inches across. You can see here, it's quite large, and I'm holding it in front of the flower. The flowers do become fragrant after they've been open a while. And uh, the way you grow these catechisms is in bright light, like you would for a catlia. And you want to water them and feed them well through the growing season in the spring, summer months. And then in the fall, you keep watering them until you see the flower spike starting, which will always emerge on catacetinae, species or hybrid, from the base of the plant, or sometimes even a little higher up on the pseudobulbs, one of these little areas here that you see it's a little lighter colored. Sometimes they'll swell out and you'll get another spike. Um, so <clears throat> when you are seeing the flowers and the leaves start falling off and you have no foliage at all you need to stop watering and fertilizing and you can watch this pseudobulb here and if this pseudobulb becomes wrinkled a little bit is okay but it, you don't want to shrivel too much so just water with clean pure water um, maybe every two or three weeks or or less depending on how plump that bulb is. In some climates you can go the whole period with no water if there's good relative humidity. Um, the flowers last uh, not a great deal of time. I would say maybe two to three weeks and you can have as many as uh, five flowers on a spike like this. Now this is the first bloom plant and you can see the pseudobulbs probably about three inches tall. They will get up to six inches tall, and the leaves can get up to 16 inches long. Some have even become larger than that, and they can have multiple flowers on the spikes once they become quite large. It's a great plant, and this clone called Jumbo Green Gold is what I think to be the best of them.